Greetings and welcome to Spellbook Demon Slayers. I'm Catherine Sky, and first of all, a huge thank you to the developer for giving me a key to play this game for you. Now, you can right now wishlist this on Steam because it ain't out yet. Um, I think it's coming out November 2nd or 3rd. Uh, check back on Steam on those days. This is another Vampire Survivors-like game, but man, it's different. Uh, I really like this game. It has a really incredible interface compared to VS, uh, and I think you'll like it. I'm going to point out some different things about it uh, that I think you'll be interested in. As always, look, there's a Discord, but this is a Discord for the developer. You can click on, but please come to my Discord. I love to discuss the Vampire Survivors-like games, and uh, we like to compare like builds with each other, and it's really a lot of fun to talk about stuff. So check out my Discord. It is listed in the description below. So now uh, I want to start a brand new game. Uh, and we do have meta progress, uh, but before we start the game, we're going to use our upgrade points. Now these are, I forget what they're called. There's some kind of flowers, uh, moon flowers or something. And these are the things that you earn during the game. It's kind of like gold in Vampire Survivors, except tinier increments, right? Ones instead of like thousands or hundreds. And um, so what we want to do is we can go through this list and we kind of want to, let's look at it and see what we want to upgrade. As you see, I already have some points and stuff. You can refund your upgrades if you like. Um, but the funny thing about these flowers is you can use these in the game or you can save them until you're out of the game. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Okay, so we have a second chance. Uh, we have damage control, which is longer delay between enemy attacks per point. That seems good. Let's get that. And let's get two of them. Shrine summoners can appear. Uh, we have extra damage. We have cast speed increase. We have regeneration, which is nice. I have maxed out pickup range because I really want that. We've got crit chance. We've got crit multiplier. We have HP, which is also kind of nice. Projectile speed and range is actually pretty good because some of the projectiles have a very short uh, AOE. Buff duration, that's nice. Shrine size, that can be useful. Buff effect, that's nice. Reduce damage taken, that's pretty good. Experience, let's get experience because that helps us level up. Uh, oh, cost seven, holy fuzzy cats. Okay, projectile size, revives, that also is 13. Uh, on astral flower gain, these are astral flowers, I think. Invincibility, one second per point. Reroll, that's nice. Um, banish. We can do unbound thickening, allows this aura to be leveled plus one time per point. Okay. Unbound mending, tailwind, clairvoyance. So these are extra levels for auras are like the uh, passives in Vampire Survivors. And you can have many. This is a bit of a crazy game that way. You can only have four weapons, but you can have many, many auras. Brain power is a great one. That's uh, XP. Uh, let's see, lethality, maiden, all these other ones. These are basically all the auras that you have. So let's go up and see what we can level. Um, this would be nice, reduced damage taken, but we can't afford that. HP, we can get two of those. Let's go and get that. That's kind of nice. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go and begin the game. Now, I have unlocked a fair amount of spell books, and I don't really understand this exactly. Um, but what it is, is you have a character and then these spell books give you different passive abilities. They also have a different starting bonus and they have a starting skill. So Tammy is the one you start off with. I don't like Dynamo that much. It's not that great, but you get 13% critical chance. You can also get double crit and triple crit. Oh my God. The crit is great in this game. Spear, uh, has a ghost bullet, uh, chains, even if you miss, that's kind of interesting. Uh, really nice starting bonus. Wolf, I have never played yet because the last time I played, I played Astrid, which I love the reference there because Aster in Latin, of course, is star. That's why you have flowers that are asters. They look like little starbursts and um, Astrid is, of course, of the stars, that kind of thing. Uh, I haven't played Wolf yet. Double tap, fire two in piercing rounds, instantly kills demons below 20% HP. That sounds good. We have a Jean or Jen, if you are speaking French today. Uh, Armageddon Sigil summons a sigil that can attach to nearby demons. It summons pillars of flame that cause demons to explode on death. That de dealing 20% of their max HP is damaged and triggering secondary explosions. I It sounds great, but I wasn't actually that crazy about it. I haven't played her, so let's just play Wolf. Let's try Wolf today. 
Uh, we only have one passive ability unlocked. I honestly, I have no idea how to... Oh, achievement required to unlock. Okay. So gain an extra reward reroll every level. That sounds great. 30% experience gain is also great. And pickup range. Yay. Let's go and choose wolf then. And we'll click this. Now we have two different areas here. And already you see the stats. These are pretty good. So we have... Um, Different things here. Banish, aura max level, reroll. Uh, one for revives. One out of 15. Shrine size, level up healing. We don't have... Oh we, oh, we have speed and difficulty. Oh my. Wow. How do we... Can we click these? Oh, hold on. Right click to remove. Okay. Alright, enemy amount. Clock speed. Elite buffs, enemy damage. You can have all of these malice things. That's fun. I wonder what this gives us. I actually, I've never seen this option before. So I'm like, oh, what is this? Enemy amount. What does that give us if we click these? Hello? No? I can't? I have zero flowers. Maybe we need flowers. But why, did, why was I able to click this? So this gives us level up healing. Flowers gain plus 3%. I don't really want that much speed. I wonder why I can't click these. They cost... Oh, these are free and these cost one. Okay, so if we have flowers, then we can get more stuff. Okay, I see. We'll leave this alone for now. Um, it is a difficult game already, so... Well, not, not as difficult. I feel like it's less difficult than Vampire Survivors. Anyway, we have these minutes, but you can go past the, the number of minutes. And what it does is it counts down and then it counts up again. So uh, I wonder if this changes anything. No, it doesn't seem to. Let's just do movement speed about 160. Uh, that seems good because I felt slow when I was playing it before. All right. Library courtyard. Let's go. Slaughter it. Every demon who would dare to approach the cosmic library. Let's do it. Demons must die. The demon invasion is approaching. Slaughter them with the cosmic library's finest magic. There's a cosmic shrine just ahead. Stand near it to gain a temporary bonus. If you kill enough demons while close to it, you take the bonus with you wherever you go. Yep. Okay, so here's the shrine. So you, all you need to do is you stand in here. Oh, I like this weapon. That's nice. There we go. We're just going to stand in here to kill stuff. It doesn't matter if the enemies are inside, only if the you is inside. So here's our first level up. Okay, so you can see we have our weapons in the upper left corner. Now, one of my uh, only criticisms of the game here is that... Uh, I don't like that you can't you can't mouse over and figure out what it is like there's a lot of icons in the game It doesn't show the title or anything like at least in vampire survivors You could mouse over and see stuff However, this game is better and look at this it shows you the health regen armor move speed damage because like there are some skills that scale with regeneration for example uh, But you can see revives reroll experience uh, knockback projectile speed crit chance all of this stuff right here um, unfortunately, to see this, you have to press escape uh, in regular land. Like, you can't see it from your level up land, which I don't like. Uh, all right, lightning crawlers. Those are not bad. Projectile speed is affected by critical damage. Okay, tornado. I don't like that at all. It feels very underpowered. Uh, I'm going to just take... Um, I'm going to take lightning crawlers. It would be nice to get another spell. So, you see the buff above my head. You can't mouse over it, so you kind of just have to remember what, what it was. Usually it'll say at the top what it is when you get it, but for some reason I didn't see it. Maybe it just went away too fast. Okay, Dynamo, I'm not that big of a fan of. Organ Harvest, I love. Tome Dust is not great. It's like uh, Osole Mio's, the, you know, the dog flowers poofing out the butt. Um, and I find that that's hard to aim, I guess. Like, yeah, you're running away from demons, but... Sometimes they're not necessarily behind you. Organ Harvest is amazing. Uh, throw four sides diagonally when this hits a demon. Regenerate 0.13 HP over 1.3 seconds. Now we can reroll if we want, but I'm not going to. Now there was another one. There's a flame skill that I want to try to get. That one is superb. But you see these like these lightning -y thingies. They're trying to hit the demons. <laughs> they will eventually. But as you level up these skills, of course, they get better and better. Okay. Cremation is an aura. Keep note of these passives versus actives. Uh, you can have many passives. Damage reduction is good, but I'm going to do... 
this one. Demons have a 15% chance to explode on death, dealing 10% of their max HP as damage. Now, the game also informs you the evolution. So when you get this to level 4, then you can see the evolution. Um, all explosions deal plus 0.5% damage. Uh, or point, no, plus 0.05x damage. Uh, so that seems good. They all have different kinds of things. Like this one has 50% of damage taken is instead lost as half that much degeneration over three seconds. Base of all cooldown of spells is minus 20%. This uh, evolution is frozen demons shatter on death, dealing 7% of their magic HP uh, or uh, yeah, max HP as damage. Anyway, let's change to... Uh, yeah, let's take cremation. Sure. I don't feel it's worth using a reroll since we kind of, that seems like a good one. Uh, you want to take your passives. You want to get as many as possible. Um, I do feel like it, when you're starting out with this game, I remember starting in vampire survivors. You like stay for like, you survive for like five minutes on your first run. But this one, I had a really long first run. So it felt more like satisfying that way. But there's still a lot of stuff to learn about this game. For sure. I've practiced a few hours just for all those people who are like, oh my god, KOS, you should practice the game. I do practice the games that I play, always. Uh, except if it's like a story game and I don't want to be spoiled. Anyway, uh, we only have one over one weapon choice left. Okay, we have a Sigil Overcast. That one is okay. I kind of want... I really want that other one, but I'm going to take spell level two because why not? I will, we'll want it eventually. I want to save the rerolls for when we actually need it. Okay. Let's get in here and kill stuff in the shrine area. Er, 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 okay. I've got to get out of the shrine because things. Oh, 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 shrine to shrinking shrine. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. We got that one. Chain shrine. We have to kill 31 demons. My spells right now are really not good for what I want to do. But it's okay. Um, let's see. We have Cremation Aura. Or we can do... Yeah, this is a good one. Trailblazer. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, five kills. Five kills needed. Okay. We got that one as well. So now stuff should chain. We got an Astral Flower. That's great. That's our first one. You get them from various things. You can get them from opening chests or just randomly from killing demons and stuff. Okay, lightning crawlers. They always, in these chests, they always give you an item. It's kind of like vampire survivors. You don't have a choice on that one. Um, so, all right, let's see. Double tap. Yeah, that gives us better stuff. Do we want, now, spell repeat amount. I feel like that's extra projectiles or something like that. Or maybe it just goes faster. I'm not sure. But let's take this double tap. That seems like a really, really good thing. Now, it is worth knowing what the heck you have. If you press escape, you can see double tap is the gun. Lightning crawlers looks like the little bug. And organ harvest is this creepy... Oh, it's a person upside down. I don't know. Looks like ribs around a body. I'm just going to say it's that. Um, because there are things like you can get a smuggler in one of the shrines that allows you to change your spell. And so far that I've seen, it's like the lowest level spell will be traded out for this new spell. So, but you don't know other than looking at the, the spell icon and the number next to it. Like it doesn't allow you to see um, the, uh, the names. It's like this screen and it's like, I can't even mouse over this. This, I hope the devs change because this drives me crazy. Oh, that's not good. So let's see what else we have. I don't want these. Let's see. Spell repeat, base damage, lightning crawler. Sure. Let's let's raise the damage of lightning crawlers. That seems like a good decision right now. Oh, killing stuff, killing stuff. It's a bit hard. Um, these This game definitely has very different spells than Vampire Survivors. That's for sure. Um... I think that Vampire Survivors has a lot of like circular AoE spells, which I think this game probably doesn't have enough of them. Um, let's see. Lead Sprinkler is not bad, but I still don't want that one compared to other stuff. The Hailstorm, it says 40% chance to freeze, but I found it to be like 2% chance. It's bad. It's not good at all. Let's do the Organ Harvest here because the repeat is going to hit more demons, giving us more regen. Okay, Starfire Shrine and Barrage Shrine. If I stand in the middle, I'll do both of them at once. Hooray! Okay, fantastic. We killed both of those shrines 
very quickly. Right, so now, yeah, let's just do projectiles. I should have gotten the pierce. Well, it, it'll be next time I can get it, it's fine. It's not a big deal. So also hasted, that, I don't think that's a word. I think it should be quickened or sped up or something. That's a strange, strange word. Hasted, as in has haste, but hasted is not a word actually. I guess I don't think it is, unless I've like missed something. Anyway, um, Blood Blitz. Do I want this one? No, I want a fire thing. It's called fire something. So lightning crawlers, let's go. More lightning crawlers. Doing all the things, all the stuffs. Now, last time I played this, I had a crit build, which was amazing. Oh my God, it was so much fun. It was nuts. We, we got up to over 200% crit. It was pretty good. Cold Front Shrine. I don't know what that is. We get a box though. That's nice. Okay, Organ Harvest. So I don't understand this. We get a choice here, um, but we choose either level three or level four. Of course I'm gonna choose number four. I don't know why we get the choice when it's clearly like one is definitely better than the other because it's the same spell. It just has a different number next to it. Okay, so Armageddon. Uh, no, Trailblazer. We can go up on that one. We can get, let's get this aura, Tailwind, just have it, have at least one of them. Okay, this is nice. Get more kills, come on, come on, come on, one left, good, good. But we don't, for whatever reason, the text is not showing. Smuggler's Shrine, this is great. So this is the time where you're gonna have to recheck your spells, what they do, because the smuggler will give you a chance often to replace one of your spells. So let's see, the one we have is double tap, that's actually, could be okay to replace. Let's see. Uh, all right, so Organ Harvest, Spirit Shield. I'm not gonna level that one. Brain Power, let's get that damage up 25% with an aura. Okay, here's a Smuggler. Umbral Ibrahim's Emporium. So here we go, Illegal Magic replaces your lowest level spell, which is the gun. So we have Fire 2 aimed piercing rounds that leave a trail of burning ground. Uh, that sounds very similar to what we have. That sounds like an upgraded of what we have. Toxic Blizzard, rain radioactive ice from the sky, 40% chance to freeze for two seconds. Demons frozen, lose HP. This sounds like the upgraded uh, thingy. Uh, irradiate, armor of demons is always set to minus five. Your armor is set to minus five. Now there is another synergy with this that if you have minus armor, uh, you get something to synergize with the other spell. I don't remember what it is though. Speed Demon. No, I don't want this one. I, I don't want to reduce crit chance. Uh, we can gamble our flowers. I kind of don't want any of these except for maybe the Irradiate. Um, I think we do this. We can gamble three flowers, which we don't have. Uh, we don't have those, of course. Well, let's reroll, actually. We can reroll. Okay, we get Regeneration. Uh, when Elite Demons are spawned, spawn one more. Move Speed. Revives. Oh, but you only have one thingy. No, I don't really want any of them. We could ignore him and get experience instead. Maybe we get the move speed because it'll it'll make us much faster. And the enemies do get speed, but it's it's not to compete with our speed. It doesn't. It's not even near as quick. So this seems good. I like the speed here. That's not bad. Okay, let's get this box. Double tap, okay, cooldown is less. I kinda could get rid of that double tap. I'm not really the biggest fan of this. I should have taken the armor one because of the, the other stuff I know that's around. So, Thunderstorm, Evolved Lightning Crawlers, base damage, uh, plus two for each remaining chain. No, I'm gonna reroll. Magma Axis, uh, no. Why is that other one not coming up? Creates burning ground, ghost bullet, nope. All right, we'll take that one. I really want to find, I, I should actually just find the spell because uh, having less spells makes it harder. We need more DPS here. And we don't, since we have one spell slot missing so far or a missing spell for that slot, that really doesn't help us at all. Also, I have to say, I'm really not a fan of the music. Um, I'm not a fan of like hard rock in general, but this sounds like just kind of 
sorry to the composer, but it sounds very generic. Very generic rock music that, yeah, it's not very exciting. I really like music in games. Okay, so we can have damage reduction. That sounds really good. Uh, I'm really afraid of this, the evolved stuff. Like, is that going to take away the new? I don't think so. This is good. Evolved Organ of Harvest creates bloody burning ground on kill, which improves with regeneration. All right, so that's the thing that, you know, uh, goes on with that. Let's get the double tap damage up 20 points, basically up 50%. That's nuts. But you can see my, uh, my scythes are not actually killing stuff on the first hit. They have to be hit multiple times, it seems like. So that's definitely not ideal. Eh! Run around, run around, chain trying. Oh, we gotta level up. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and reroll until I get that one that I want. So we get shotgun, deadly aim, crit chance plus 13%. Okay. So one of the things that I've noticed is that when you get a level up, this is additive. So we're gonna have 18% crit chance. But if you get a crit chance from a shrine, and it says plus 30%, it's actually multiplicative. So it multiplies your crit chance times the, the number. Okay, so let's take this and then we can exit and see 18%. Oh, whoops, whoops, four kills, four kills, please. Four kills, there we go. All right, there we go. I like this shrine thing. That's kind of fun. Would be kind of cool if vampire survivors did something like that. Over oh, now, now I'm encouraging them to copy this game. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so let's see. Again, another one of these. Teleporting area. No, I don't really like that one. Yeah, let's take this one again. So, anyway, there's lots of places to spend your flowers on. This, the evolution there is really, feels like it's probably more, more work than doing the vampire survivors uh, level up tree or the upgrade tree. Um, nope. Skewer, mending. This is nice. Clairvoyance, let's take that. We got the shrine, hooray. Would be nice to get some piercing. Um, I think there's a piercing aura. Would really like that for the scythes, because that, that gives me a lot more regen with the piercing and... Oh yeah, other stuff. Okay, let me kill the thing. Um, critical multiplier. That's good. That will give us much more stuff. I, I still want the clairvoyance, I think. Okay, obtained an astral flower from that chest. I didn't actually get uh, an item or a, uh, a level up from the chest. Really need to get more HP. -er. It's a bit difficult bit difficult. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Yeah, I really want that flame skill. I don't remember what it was called. Okay, let's go. Let's try to just re-roll for it. Revengeance. Explode when hit. That's a nice one. Uh, brutality. That's a nice one. But I'm going to keep on going for that spell um incinerate there we are i think this is what we want melt demons with an aimed torrent of fire i think this isn't the one i want i hope it is so there we go now it's interesting because i remember when i first chose this spell it gave me the option of actually aiming it either with the direction of the character with the cursor or i could choose to just auto fire and that's what this is this is auto firing and i don't know why it didn't give me a choice i wonder if that's i wish it gave you a choice every time okay so thunder swarm let's go okay fires extra auto aim bullets sure at nearby enemies let's do extra i like extra stuff but the incinerate definitely gives you a nice kind of aoe fire effect uh here that can kill stuff better, better. Okay, let's grab all this XP. So now, all right, deadly aim. That's another crit chance. All right, so we're now over 40% crit. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was owie, 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 owie. 
Let's get this thing. Chest? Okay, again, seven and eight. I don't really get that at all. Why does it give you the choice of having both of those? I'm going to move up in the in the world, I think, a little bit. So I don't go to the bottom. Don't want to bottom out there. Incinerate cooldown. Yes, let's do that. Or we could um, do elusive strike. Yeah, let's. this is cool. Look at this awesome aura evolution. So aura evolution of elusive strike. Critical chance is multiplied by plus 1.01 every 0.1 seconds to a max of one and a half times. Bonus resets when you get hit. So that is going to give us a lot of crit. So we'll check it in a second. Um, after the max amount of time. Oh, we got hit. Darn it. Yeah, that doesn't help us when we get hit with that. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, we're going to get hit again. No, 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 no. Stop getting hit. We need more crit. More crit, more crit, more crit. Let's see. Now it's up to 58%. But it should go higher than that. Much higher. 66. But that is how you get some, like, massive crit stuff. Okay, I got a flower. Um, yeah, incinerate. Okay, but Madam Death is our uh, evolved organ harvest. Um, I think we want to do that. I think we just create bloody burning ground around, which kind of reminds me of Santa Water from uh, from Vampire Survivors. That seems interesting. Good. Of course, Santa Water is a really great thing. It's kind of underwhelming initially, but later it gets a lot better. Oh my God, there's so many enemies. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm just like not gonna get that shrine. Definitely not gonna get the shrine. Oh, and it was a healing shrine. No. I felt like I couldn't get up there in any way. I was kind of blocked. Okay, Madam Death, we can go further. Base damage per pierced demon. That seems better. Okay, that we still got the Madam Death. Anyway, that's nice. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Kill stuff, kill stuff. The smuggler has appeared. Awesome. So, um, illegal upgrade projectile speed is also applied to knockback. Uh, pierce amount is mine. It's not, no, 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 I don't want that. Shred, this is funny, shrinkage. This is hilarious. Shred demons with chaining ice. Fire a powerful frost orb that freezes demons and reduces their size. Some of them are, like, absolutely tiny. Um, let's see. Spells gain base damage based on knockback. Knockback pulls enemies toward you. I have no knockback. This one replaces little level spell, which is what I want is the incinerate. So no, we can do the gamble though. Let's do the gamble. Did we get it? I think we probably did. Yeah, we got it. Turbo shrine. Hooray. Oh, I have almost no health, 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 health. No sad times. Oh, okay. Okay. We just got to stay alive. Don't die. Stop dying. No dying. Okay. Spell repeat amount on Madam death. Yeah, that's good. That is good. That is really good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A box. Okay. Madam Death or Prime Bolt? We'll take Madam Death. And then... Okay, so... Thunderswarm is the Evolved Lightning Crawler's base damage plus two for each remaining chain. Let's just take that maybe, or maybe we take Br Brutality with the damage. Let's do that because I kind of want more damage. I feel like we need more damage. We're just not not killing stuff that fast but we've got incinerate level two now that's really good i'm happy about that okay so i'm just gonna keep on circling here trying to get some, some xp with kind of a nice pickup radius right now it's not too bad it's it's we don't have to get like super close to stuff the what are we doing for crit chance 52 okay i got hit there somewhere i guess Okay, crit chance is now 66. Okay, that's pretty good. We can get regeneration. Um, I think we're going to take maybe brutality again. Okay, healing shrine. Oh, we need this. We need this so bad. But 77 kills is a lot of kills. Okay, kill, kill things, please. Proc spells, please. Oh, God. Incinerate base damage is up. Okay, we can't get that. It's too many kills, but we have done really well. I think we might, might have hit stuff with stuff. Experience Shrine, that's a nice one because if we get the Experience Shrine, it basically calls all the gems toward us. Okay, Incinerate, I think we just want this. 
We just want we just keep wanting that incinerate to to deal more damage and kill things. Oh my god, 52 kills needed? This is nuts. These are these shrines are I don't know why they're leveling so much. Um, but they do feel like they're way, way out of like my league of of actually gaining their benefits, which is unfortunate. I don't remember them like having those high of a kill counts. Not really sure why. But anyway, it's okay. It's we can't afford it right now, so that's okay. We're just gonna have to deal. I think it, at times in the past I was able to just like stand and not get hit or anything. I just was killing stuff like crazy. So um, it was just very, very fast to to damage demons and stuff. There's a crit shrine here. We can do this is nice experience gain. I think we take the damage actually. Oh, I should have taken the other one. Oh darn it. It's okay. That's okay, that's okay. We're going here. Astral Flower Shrine. Oh, nice, we got some stuff. Incinerate, good, I'll take it. Oh my god, we got fire everywhere. Now this one, see, it starts big and we have many enemies. So we're gonna get this crit shrine. What did it do? We now have 96% crit, which is perfect. E excellent, every hit almost should be a crit. So that's nice. You know what I would like? Just like once. Like, well, let's have some classical music in one of these games. It's very chill, you know? Evolved Incinerate, release a powerful explosion after each burst. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Wow, there is an explosion right centered around me. That's fantastic. Look at this. Let's stand in the middle of this freaking fire. Let's go. Boom. That is nice. That is really nice. Cool. Okay. God, this is nuts. Look at that huge giant. I had one of those, the one where it makes the uh, the enemies tiny or the, the, the giants or the, the elites tiny. And I got one of these giants to be like absolutely miniature. It was really funny. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not getting that one at all. No, no, no. Okay, Tailwind. We might need that actually. Brain power though with the damage. Or Fracture. Projectile chain amount. Yeah, let's take that. Take it. We still need 48 kills for this. This is not going to happen. Let's do eight. I don't know if I can even get this one. It's like too many kills needed. Yeah, I did. I got it. There used to be a like text that does it have this. Let's see options. Can we show frame rate? Eh? No, it doesn't say for whatever reason, like I remember when I was playing in a run, like it would tell you at the top what the shrine did. Uh, and now it's not telling me and I don't get it. So we get critical chance plus seven. This is nice. Armor minus one. That is not really great. Um, but there's nothing. Let's reroll. Let's just reroll. We can get experience gain. I would rather have, oh, this is nice. Damage 13. Chance to deal triple damage, plus seven. And projectile size, minus seven. Let's just take 25% damage. That seems good. So we're back down to this. We have a 66% crit chance right now, which is kind of great. That's that's really nice. But we need, we need more crit things if we're going to actually build crit. So I might have to reroll some. Okay. The Demonic Legion has breached the barrier. So, so this is what happens when you run out of time. Um, the Butcher approaches. The Cosmos shall aid you in our final defense against her forces. You can either get periodically summon extra cosmic shrines to increase your power, or periodically summon difficult elite demons to earn greater rewards. Yep, that's the me. <laughs> and you get several shrines already, which is funny. It's like, they I think they auto-complete because I just got those instantly. Let's see, what is my crit? It's 81% right now. That's pretty nice. Oops, we're going to get hit here though, unfortunately. Also, the flames have turned blue. Why have they done that? Okay, ardor, base damage. Yeah, that's our... Yeah, let's do that. Are we really using that to kill things, I think? I hope. Some of these are tanky boys. Oh my god. Like really, really tanky. Crazy there. Oh, shrine. Okay, okay. Let's do a power shrine. This sounds great. We want to kill stuff. Can you kill things, please? Oh my god. She's not killing anything. No! I'm dying. I'm dying. Healing shrine. 
Healing shrine. We need the healing shrine. We really need it. Really need the healing shrine. Healing. Please, healing. 32. One. Please. Oh, God. Okay. So before it would tell me, like, you will get extra healing over X seconds. And I don't know where those went. I don't know if it's like a first time thing. But they should show it all the time. I don't know why they don't. Um, I, I don't know if it's setting. It doesn't look like a setting, but I, I don't know also. It's just weird. Wish it was better. Healing shrine, healing shrine. I'll take them. Let's go. All right. We're trying to kill everything. Trying to stand in both, both of the overlaps of this like little Venn diagram here that we have. <laughs> Uh, all right. Actually, it's not a Venn diagram. It's just overlapping circles, which a Venn diagram happens to look like. But we're not Venning anything with the diagram at the moment. Well, I guess there is a, is a set that is part of both sets where you're killing things in both sets. So maybe it is a Venn diagram after all. Chain shrine. Okay, we'll take... We have many shrines. Holy fuzzy cats, there's three shrines here. So, Thunder Swarm... Wait, didn't we already evolve this? Apparently not. Okay, let's evolve it. I don't know if that's going to help us at all, but we're going to do it. Okay, so now we're three minutes over. Now you can see red time. That's what we're in here. Okay, spell projectile amount plus three. That's pretty significant, I think. Feels like it is. Okay, there's more enemies coming. God slap. Uh, knockback is affected by projectile size. Do we have any size? We Oh yeah, we've got 35%. Let me do a, hmm. I think I want, what does this do? When you kill an elite demon, kill all non-elite demons. Yes, we want to go for clairvoyance and get aura level four on that one. We need to get the evolu evolution there. That is nuts. It is so good because it like literally wipes the whole screen. So it's a very safe thing to do. The experience shrine, that's good. Um, intensity damage. Knockback is affected. What does this one do? Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. Um, Ardor. Base damage is up. Let's let's try to re-roll. We have a lot of re-rolls. This is a nice character to play. Uh, this one. Let's see. Sage Slayer. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's what we want. Oh, my God. This is going to be fantastic. So we're going to kill that demon and watch for the whole screen to be wiped. Smuggler. All right. So illegal upgrade, experience gain. Okay, that's nice. Fire oh, replaces lowest level skill, which is the lightning crawlers. Do we want to get rid of that? I don't think so. I think we don't. Double, double. All spell projectiles chain off two more demons. Damage minus. No. Spells gain base damage based on knockback. We don't have any knockback. Okay, so we could reroll. I don't want to reroll. I think we can take... This one, the jackpot. Yeah, let's go with that. Or we could have done the flower uh, gambling. That's a good one as well. Okay, so this guy's wealthy. Boom, everything is dead. That was so cool. So crit multiplier, that might be good as well. Because we are at 2. So 2.3 is good. Is better. Obviously it's better. Yeah, killing these giants super fast. Holy fuzzy cats. Yeah, and you see, once once I do that, we're getting the um, the XP from all over the whole screen. It's pretty great. We are at a really good position, I feel, right now with, with the damage and all the stuff here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill everything. Okay, mending. We don't actually have this. Regenerate 50%. HP over the next. So this is a heal right now if we want to. I think we take the Ardor because that's what we want to do. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't die, don't die. Stop dying. We'd have no revives right now so it's not good to die. Oh no. Okay, we can't. We can survive that. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Shrine. We can't do it. Uh, but we can re-roll till we get the <laughs> the mending. Let's do the mending. There we go. Regenerate and heal. Okay, there we go. We are healing like crazy now. This is great. Pretty great. But now we need... We are really... It feels like we're really low on damage. I need more damage so desperately. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Do we have... 
Okay, this is an aura evolution. Spells have a 10% chance to deal triple damage, plus 1% for each level of this aura. So we would have 14% uh, to deal triple damage. Sure, we'll try that. And I guess that applies to crits as well, I would think, right? Okay. Killing the demons. Let's go. We got some astral flowers from killing all of those. That was quite nice. Very good, very good. So those are actually really helping us out here. Those those demons that kill everything else on the screen when when we kill them. That's pretty great. So God Slap. Knock back it. Yeah, again, projected uh, projectile size. Sure. We had 11, and now it's 46% knockback. Holy fuzzy cat. That's pretty great. Oh, but we're dying. We're dying. This is not good. This is not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, in the bottom. We're bottoming out the screen. No. Oh no. Oh, we died. We deaded. Sad times. Okay, so we did well. We did really well. Um, so we're going to quit. To, we got 19 flowers. This is pretty great. So we're going to go to... Let's go ahead and spend our flowers. And I kind of want to look at the spells. Are there any that we really love? I kind of love the... Um, oh, the thing that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> of course. Of course I can't remember it. Um... No, Astral Barrier. No, what is it called? The Flame one. Look at this. Incinerate or something. Is it on here? Samsara. I don't know what that is. Bloodletting. Oh. Maybe these are only auras. I'm guessing they're only auras. Okay, so revives. Let's get a revive. We don't have any yet. That would be so nice to have experience we can get oh no we have two left so two we can get damage too sure let's get extra damage so now we have 12 percent extra damage that is a nice thing to have all right so anyway i really like this game it feels very nice it feels very like different than vampire survivors i love the shrine thing i love i don't know it's so cool uh hopefully the developers may uh, you know hopefully they'll listen to my suggestion to you know do some kind of like mouse over so you can see your current skills and stuff um but over overall i really love this game it's fun it's it's one of these like okay i played a little in the morning like i want to play more like you feel like i want to play more um so i will sell it, say that like you know, you have the same character. She just holds different books in the game when you're playing. Though, there is an option. Maybe we'll do this next time. We'll play as a spell book next time. Um, but anyway, that was a fun run. Uh, and uh, wish list this on Steam. Check it out. It seems really fun. I can't wait till it comes out and we start comparing builds and, and all of that fun stuff. Come to my Discord again and uh, talk to us. We're great people. We're fun. If you want to make friends, if you want to just get to know people, it's pretty great. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.